the sky is not falling and Chicken Little is not right. Sometimes we just know stuff. There are beliefs we hold that are considered facts in our own narratives, right? If I asked you if you believe the world is getting better or worse right now, what would your answer be? According to Hans Rosling, author of Factfulness, 10 Reasons We're Wrong About This World and Why Things Are Better Than You Think, a clear majority of people who answered that question agree the world is getting worse, no matter what country they currently live in. As a guy who makes a living getting people clear about themselves and the world in which they live, clarity is my aspiration and accuracy of the data is the foundation of that clarity. Rosling posits in his book that in general our perceptions of the world today, compared with say just 20, 40 years ago, are way off base and mostly in a negative way. If I asked you Globally, what percentage of girls do you think finish primary school in low-income countries? 20%, 40%, 60%. Almost everybody feels it's the bottom number. According to the UN, however, it's over 60%. If I ask, what's the average life expectancy in the world today, 50, 60, or 70 years, most respondents believe 50 years. Higher educated respondents hone in on 60 years. Again the facts prove a much better picture. The average human life expectancy on our planet today is 72 years. 72 years, that's the average. Other metrics of the quality of human life all point to improving conditions globally over the past 20, 40, 100 years. Dropping significantly are things like children dying before the age of five, the cost of solar panels, smallpox virtually eradicated, world hunger. And rising significantly are metrics like literacy, immunization, child cancer survival, democracy. Well, why do we have a tendency to believe the sky is falling? A lot of the data presented to us, although frequently accurate, is often incomplete. News media, social media have a tendency to focus on the extreme ends of the bell curve. So take the income gap, for example. We're told the rich are getting richer. That's probably accurate. Versus the poor are getting poorer. The data says that's not accurate. The poor are getting richer, just at a slower rate. So the income gap is real, but the conditions of those on the lower rungs is vastly improved. What's ignored is the vast number of data between the bottom and top of that scale and how many people have escalated from low life expectancy, uneducated, impoverished conditions to survival levels and even thriving levels in the past 20, 40, 60 years, even in my lifetime. Are there filthy rich people? You bet. Are there people whose life expectancies are still 50 years and who live in conditions incapable of supporting human life? Absolutely. They are the extremes and in many cases don't represent 2-3% to of the human race. Yet they command a lot of attention in the media and persuade us that perhaps the sky is falling. The other 97% is far better off today than at any time in the past. Rosling would like us to think of most of the bad positions the media hits us with as bad but better and constantly improving. To observe the gloom and doom sky is falling claims that sometimes form our beliefs and go find the data. I think you'd enjoy factfulness and get some clarity. It's a great time to be alive. And it's Kim. And this is another moment of clarity.